Hello and welcome back to my next video guys. Today I'm going to talk about the PT updates which is all over the internet. As you have already heard about it, um, that PT has updated some, um, some of the features in the examination and uh, the new update is going to start from 16th of November. And today I'm going to tell you um, the brief introduction of what are the updates that's going to happen from 16th of November. Sorry, 16th of November. So um, the first thing is that it's going to start from 16th of November. So if your exam is before 16th of November, you are not going to be affected at all. So don't worry about it. And uh, the thing is that a three hour examination is going to be reduced to two hours examination. That's the main thing. And number of questions is being reduced in some of the sections. So the total questions used to be 70 to 82 questions. Now it's going to be 52 to 64 questions after the tens. And uh, we used to have the 10 minutes optional break after reading session before the listening session starts. But now that's going to be removed because um, the time has been removed. Um, the time has been reduced from three hours to two hours. Two hour. So they decided that the 10 minutes optional break is no more required. And um, the scorecard is being updated as well. So uh, currently the scorecard that we have uh, that you normally receive, it will have the enabling skills, but now the enabling skills is gone. There won't be any enabling skills in your scorecard. And that enabling skills will be replaced by a feedback section. There will be a feedback section in your scorecard, which will eventually give you a rough idea of where you missed, hopefully. Right? And then um, this one interesting feature that PTE has, um, has added in their um, examination schedule, that is the PTE Academic Online. Then that has been added as another form of examination. But the thing is that PTE Academic Online is not recognized for visa or immigration purposes. It is only for um, educational purposes, only for university recognition. Um, but again, uh, PTE Academic Online, it should be available in your country. If it's not available in your country, then you can't do it. So um, the thing is that if you are applying for a student visa from overseas, you won't be able to um, claim for the points or you won't be able to submit this score sheet from PT Academic Online because that's for visa and immigration purposes. But if you are already in Australia and you want to um, and you want to pursue your um, educational career in, in Australia, you want to pursue your study, then that might help, right? But we still don't have the enough information about it. Um, hopefully we'll get enough information on October. That's what the website says, but um, and again, um, there is no change in strategies, the way you practice, the way the format that you are following, all the strategies, all the techniques, tricks and tips that will stay the same. There is no change in scoring mechanism. There is no change in the PTE scoring, um, the AI. Nothing has been changed, so you are safe. So you don't have to worry about anything. And um, if, you want to, if you want to try the two hour mock test, that will be available in Pearson's website on 27th of October. Now let me show you the new screen. So what are the changes actually? So um, as I've already told you that they have reduced the time of the PT examination from three hours to two hours. So that means you will have less time. You will finish your examination in two hours or maybe less. Um, that means the number of questions has been reduced and the time for each section has been reduced as well. So uh, if you can see on the screen here, speaking and writing, it used to have 73 to 90, 93 minutes in total, 77 to 93 minutes in total. Now it's going to be 54 to 67 minutes in total for those two sections. Reading section, it used to have, it used to be 32 to 41 minutes. Now it's going to be 29 to 30 minutes. That's tight. That's tight. That's really tight. But optional break, 10 minutes, there is no more 10 minutes, 10 minutes optional break. But if you have some medical condition, you can request for um, 10 minutes optional break when you book your examination. And you can do the, uh, you can make the request while booking for your examination. If you have any medical condition, right? You can still get that. Uh, for listening section, it used to be 47 to 57 minutes, which has been reduced to 30 to 43 minutes. So uh, don't panic by looking at the reduced number of time. Mm, it's because they have reduced the number of questions as well. But my concern is for reading section because we all we already had uh, time management issues in reading, and now it has been reduced to 29 to 30 minutes, which is less. So I'm really concerned about the time management issue here. That's what you have to be mindful of. Now let's look at the number of questions which is going to be changed. So the read aloud and representatives has not been changed at all. It is still 67 questions for read aloud and 10 to 12 questions for representatives. However, describe image, teacher lecture, and answer short question has a drastic change in the number of questions that will come in the examination. So from describe image, you used to have 67 questions that tends to three to four questions, which is all right. Teacher lecture, which most of the people struggle with, it used to have three to four questions. Now it's going to have one to two questions. So good for you guys, good on you. Answer short question, it used to have 10 to 12 questions, which was a lot. Um, now it's going to be reduced to five to six questions. From my understanding, since these sections are not so important, that's why they have reduced the number of questions in these sections. And read aloud and representatives are very important. That's why they have kept the number intact. What I'm thinking is maybe they will increase the weightage 
for these two sections as well. Maybe so right now the percentage um, that read aloud contributes to speaking is 25%. Maybe that will go to 27%, 26%. We don't know that yet. There's no information regarding that, but maybe that could happen. But if that's, if that's the case, then it's good for us. We can simply focus on read aloud, we can get good marks, right? So it's good, it's good actually. Um, if you go to writing section, summarize written text, we used to get two to three questions. Now we're going to get one to two questions. Those people who, uh, for whom summarize written text is a difficult one, um, good news for you. You won't be able, you won't be getting three questions of summarized written text, maybe one or two. Essay, test same, one to two. So uh, no hassle on that. Uh, let's come to reading section here. Fill in the blanks, drag and drop, and fill in the blanks, drop down. Both of these fill in the blanks remain unchanged. These remain unchanged. So five to six questions from drop down and uh, uh, four to five questions from drag and drop it stays as it is. Reorder paragraph it stays as it is. Two to three questions, two to three questions. MCQ, however, has been reduced from two to three to one to two. Again, MCQ, we don't normally spend much time in MCQ, which is the same case, uh, but the total time has reduced. That means your time for filling the blanks has reduced as well. So you have to be very mindful while doing the reading section. That's my main concern. <laughs> After that, there's listening section. There, ha there has been some um, changes in listening section as well. Uh, for example, let's say summarize spoken text, we used to get two to three questions, which is really an important question, and they have reduced that to one to two questions. MCQ, both two single answer and two is multiple answer. It used to get two to three, but now it's one to two. Fill in the blanks. Listening fill in the blanks, however, remains unchanged. Fill in the blanks and highlight incorrect word. These two are one of the most important sections and one of the easiest sections here in listening. And both of them remain unchanged, so that's good. We, if we have more many questions, we can still get good marks from there. Uh, highlight correct summary and select missing words. Uh, it has been changed from two to three to one to two. But again, these are very less important questions, so don't worry about it. Um, right from this session, which it says on top, um, has remained unchanged. Uh, we will still be getting three to four questions from right on vacation. And right on vacation, trust me, my friend, is one of the most important sections if you want to improve your writing and listening score. Again, so these are the only changes that we have uh, that we have uh, found till now. There's no more update in PTE Pearson's website. Um, as soon as we get uh, more information about it, I'll update you guys. So um, keep watching, keep learning, keep supporting, um, and don't panic, right? Don't panic because um, it, it, just, it, it has just changed the number of questions and the time. Just be careful with time management and that's all. You are good to go. So um, that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much. Um, uh, don't forget to follow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch some more.